morning everyone welcome to another episode of to the point today's topic of discussion is 12 members elected to rajya sabha first of all let's see why is it in the news in the recent rajya sabha by polls nine bjp members and two from nda allies as well as congress abhishek manu singh we have been elected unopposed now let's discuss about rajya sabha article 80 of the constitution lays down the maximum strength of rajya sabha as 250 out of which 12 members are nominated by the president and 238 are representatives of the state and of the two union territories Currently it has 245 members including 233 elected members and 12 nominated Nominated members of the Rajya Sabha are nominated by the President of India in the field of art literature science and social service The fourth schedule of the Indian Constitution deals with the allocation of seats in the Rajya Sabha to the states and the UPs The Vice President of India is the ex officio chairman of the Rajya Sabha. The Rajya Sabha is called the Permanent House of the Parliament as it is never fully dissolved. Now let's discuss how are MPs elected to the Rajya Sabha. The voting process in Rajya Sabha follows a single transferable vote system through an open ballot wherein Each MLA is allowed to vote once and the same is counted. During the election MLAs submit a list of candidates based on their preferences. Votes are then counted with each MLA's first preference carrying the most weight. If a candidate secures the required quota of votes they are elected. Otherwise the candidate with the fewest votes is eliminated. and their votes are redistributed based on the subsequent preferences indicated by the voters this process continues until all seats are filled a candidate must secure a certain number of votes which is termed as quota or as aforementioned mentioned a preference vote rajya sabha members serve a term of 6 years with 1/3 of the members retiring every 2 years to ensure continuity in the event of a member's death disqualification or resignation by elections are held to fill the vacant seat lastly moving on to the powers of rajya sabha the rajya sabha provides representation to the states it can authorize the parliament to create new all india services common to both the center and the states article 312 if a proclamation is issued by the president for imposing an emergency national state or financial at a time when the lok sabha has been dissolved then the proclamation can remain effective even if it is approved by the rajya sabha alone The resolution for the removal of the vice president can be introduced only in the Rajya Sabha and not in the Lok Sabha. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about Rajya Sabha. One the voting process in Rajya Sabha follows a single transferable vote system through an open ballot. Two the resolution for the removal of the vice president can be introduced only in the Rajya Sabha. and not in the lok sabha which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching have a great day for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications